Okay. All right, hey guys, this is Sean Tierney with the Tierney Makeover Effort. I'm here with Julia and Julie of Esperanza. And if you guys tell us just a little bit about what you're doing here, what the operation is that you have going here. Okay, well, we go out twice a week, um, two different routes to feed the homeless in the streets of Barcelona. Um, we make, or volunteers make sandwiches, soup, or, or restaurants, we have uh, um, restaurant donations. We, uh, five people go out, we take clothes, we take um, juices, fruit, sweet stuff, uh, toiletries, little toiletries and things like that. Um, and we're very grassroots and we organize it in a very basic way. So if anybody can think of the best way to do it, we'd be very grateful. <laughs> And you guys have been doing it for six, six years six, total. Six years this month. Weekly, yeah. every week for six years total. Yeah, so uh, it's a very, very basic idea. We meet at someone's house, somebody delivers the food to us, uh, they either pick it up from the restaurant, make it themselves and deliver it, and then the volunteers all meet together, put it all into trolleys, and they walk around the streets to more or less, we have a pretty set route these days, we know where people are going to be. So they go out and, uh, and find those people and, and give them the food. And they miss us if we don't turn up. Um, and there's a lot of volunteers, it's ju tr just trying to juggle them together to get them to go out at the right times is a bit tricky. Yeah, you said you have 5,000 people in the Facebook group for yeah. this? And then how do you coordinate, how does this actually like logistically work right now? How, how is it organized? We just send out a good a message on, on Facebook, on Messenger, mm -hmm. uh, a group message. Um, so at the moment, people go onto our Facebook page and they put their names down onto a Google document. Mm -hmm. If they're not on Facebook, we can send them the link to the doc. And then the person who's coordinating that week sends out a group message to all of those people. Uh, and they just give a thumbs up, yeah, I'll be there, or, and, and they do it. It's very, very basic. The problem is finding, Getting to the <laughs> That's right, isn't it, Shabba? <laughs> um, yeah, basically, and, and there's always one person that has to organise each week, and that person spends a lot of time sending out messages saying, can anyone do the bread, the soup? Can anyone pick up eggs? Can anyone do this? And then as it gets nearer to the weekend, and there's less people, le space is still to fill, then the messages get a little bit more and, and a little bit more intense maybe <laughs> right right so it sounds like there's a lot of babysitting to yeah, yeah. just make it happen each week so i think um i think what we can do and this is like what we're proposing to do right now is potentially build some type of app either a mobile app or a web app that could simplify this and make it uh, almost like a call tree or a cascading way of uh, proactively going out notifying people getting them to commit or not commit and then kind of taking some of that organizational overhead off of you guys' shoulders so you can just... Sounds amazing. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. Uh, everyone, who, everyone who is part of Esperanza is a volunteer, nobody gets paid, there's nobody higher than us organizing it. Uh, it's all time, uh, our time, other people's it's, time. It's so all a cooperative right. between us all. Yeah. So, so anything that would ease that up, you know, when you work full time, it's quite hard to find the moments in the day to send the messages out. Sure. Um, so, yeah, anything that would help would be brilliant. Right. Uh, it really works. The people, I mean, the people on the street really, really appreciate our help. You know, we take them anything from we've had people taking suits so that they can go for an interview. We've helped them find housing. We've helped them. We've sent some guy back to Bulgaria because he's, he's with his he wanted family. to go back to his family and didn't have the airfare. You know, all sorts of things, and they know us. They expect us. They might ask for a book or a sleeping bag or a bag or. All sorts of strange things that we can normally find. So they do really, really rely on our help. Um, yeah. It really works in that respect. But it's very basic help. We, you know, we can't really take them out of the situation that they're in. But they can feel like somebody cares about them just for a few minutes um, at that time of the day. Be real yeah. So what do we? Are you, so this is the soup that's been. I'm just done preparing. It? Well, normally we have soup delivered like this. Um, but because we haven't got any soup in the Raval, Julia's going to take the soup that was delivered today and because I have lots of leftover soup in my freezer and my fridge, so I'm going to warm up those. And then over here, these are the trolleys you They're said? The trolleys, this? and there's lots of donated clothes over there as well. So, cool. you... so all this will be going out tonight on the run. It goes in the flasks, cool. and we take cups, those flasks. Okay, all right. Well,
So if you're watching and this cause appeals to you, uh, it sounds like what we're going to try to do is essentially like a dispatch type of app. So um, don't have the implementation in mind yet. We'll probably go see what exists out there already in open source if there's something we can cobble together and use that's already built. Otherwise, we maybe build like an Airtable app and then a mobile interface for it. So uh, we need developers, designers, copywriters, uh, kind of the usual bit. And uh, if that sounds good to you, go to charitymakeover.org, sign up, and we hope to see you there.